Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today uh, I've been asked a lot about Google Glass and kind of what it does, how it works and nobody really knows that much. So I decided today I'm going to do a complete walkthrough of how uh, they work, how to navigate the operating system and some of their features. So let's get started. Okay, so before we delve into the glass itself, we need to talk about the app called My Glass. Uh, this is available for Android and iOS. Uh, and when you can download it, it'll help you initially set up Glass, but besides that, it is required for other things as well. One is to share its Bluetooth connection with your Glass device so that you can access the internet and do all the fun stuff that Glass has to offer. Um, and then also, uh, when you initially set it up, you need to set up your contacts. Now, this is basically just kind of your favorite contacts, which allows you to set up a few of them so that throughout the interface, you'll be presented with those first whenever you want to share a picture, a video, video call someone, send a text, etc. so you don't have all of your contacts to have to delve through, um, which can be a pain on a device that works like Glass does. Um, besides that, also there are other things in here. Uh, glassware, for instance, you can use this to install Glassware. Now, Glassware is apps uh, that are available just for Glass. So you go into the Glassware section by tapping the tab at the top, um, and then you can sort through all of those different apps, and all you have to do is tap on uh, in the toggle menu and that will automatically have Glass download that app and install it on itself um, and then you can use that app from then on. Um, the other thing that this does that's kind of neat is it allows you to share your glasses screen with the device. Now this is handy for this video because I'm going to use it to show you guys what I see when I use Glass but besides that it's also handy when someone inevitably is going to ask you to try on Glass and then proceed to have no clue how to use it um, you can use this so that you can see the screen that they see and explain to them what it is they're looking at and walk them through it. Okay, first up, let's just go with how you interface with the device. Now here on the side, this whole little pad here is actually a touchpad. Um, so you can do four different things to it. Uh, one is swiping forward like that. The next is swiping back, um, which we'll show you what all these do later. The other one is swiping straight down, which basically dismisses stuff and then tap to select. That is it. That's all you can do on the side of this. Um, and you use that basically to navigate through uh, the operating system, through the menus and all of that stuff. The other thing you can do, of course, is voice commands. Um, but we'll show you those and get into those a little bit later. But that's the gist of how you navigate. And now let's show you what you can navigate through. Okay, so the first thing you do is wake it up. You do that by simply tapping. And you're presented with what I would call your main home screen. So this is kind of the screen you always go to every time you turn on glass. Um, it basically just displays the time and those words that you see there, which I'm not going to say or it'll start doing things. Um, a common misconception is that this thing always has voice activation ready. It doesn't. Every time you see those words on the screen, which you'll see them at various times, that's when you can say them and you have voice activation. It's not at all times, just so you know. Okay, so real quick, the the gist of this operating system is this timeline kind of concept. So essentially what we're looking at now is um, the timeline uh, that is just a stream or a line of cards. This being the home screen, the main one, let's call it the center. For course, sort of, it's kind of the center, you'll see what I mean. Um, and then anything that I go to the right of this card is the past. So if I swipe forward on glass, you'll see uh, I just went to the right of that home screen, and now this is a text message that I recently got, or a text message conversation. If I continue to swipe, you'll see this is Spellista, um, which was, it's letting me know that this was installed six minutes ago. Go again, Compass was installed seven minutes ago. This is a CNN news topic because I have the CNN glassware installed. Another text message conversation two hours ago, five hours ago, so on and so forth. Now if I swipe the other way, I can get back to where I started. and eventually back to this main home screen. So again, this is the main home screen. Everything to the right is going to be the past, and it goes for quite a while. I don't know how many cards, but it goes for a pretty long distance. Um, now, the other direction, if I continue to swipe this way, I'm now to the left of that card. Now, this is everything that is happening now. So if you have Google Now enabled, this will show you the weather um, and all of your Google Now cards, whether you have a flight, people's birthdays, etc. Um, right now it's telling me, because I just reset this device, it wants me to set up all of these other features. Um, so this is something that it wants me to do now. So again, this is all what's happening now. Um, everything to the right of this is happening in the past, or has happened in the past, obviously. 
So if we keep going forward here, um, you'll see more and more cards that are happening now, but I only have one. Then you'll see the settings. This is how you know you've gotten to the very end of this timeline. So if I keep going, you'll see it just kind of bounces. There's nothing else. Um, so this is where all of your settings are. Um, you can get into changing different settings, which we'll show you maybe uh, later on. Uh, and then, of course, I can go back and you'll see I'm back at the main home screen. That's pretty much it. That is the gist of the majority of this operating system. So it's very simple, which is one of the reasons why it's kind of cool. Um, everything else that you do on here is going to either take you into a level deeper. So another timeline, you'll see if I tap the settings, for example. See how it kind of brought us downward? Now we're in another timeline. This happens to be the settings timeline, we'll call it. For lack of a better word, it's not really a timeline, but you know what I mean. Um, and then swiping down brings us up back one level. So now we're back at the original or the main timeline. If I swipe down again, it puts it into standby mode, tap wakes it back up, and so on and so forth. Now let's get into what glass can actually do. Um, so on this main screen, uh, you can actually tap it, um, and you'll be presented with a list of what I call actions. Um, so these are the things that glass can actually do. Um, they range from Googling something where you can tap that, Google something, and then it will display information or even an answer to a question if it knows the answer. Um, take a picture, record a video. Uh, you can also send those to people, uh, or at least a picture you can send to people, I'm not sure about video. Get directions and then navigate to a location. Message someone, uh, either through Hangouts or text message. Call someone or video call someone. Um, so these are the things that are initially on the device. Um, that you can do as soon as you take it out of the box. Um, in addition to tapping like I did, here I'll swipe down so you can see we go back up one level. Um, in addition to tapping, I can also uh, use voice commands to access any of those actions. So you start by saying on this screen, okay glass. And then you can look up and down to actually see different options. Google. How tall is the Eiffel Tower? So it actually said that to me. The Eiffel Tower is 1,063 feet tall. Um, and then it presented that information as well. If you Google something that is, say, not just a question like that. Okay, Glass. Google theunlocker.com. You'll actually be presented with your Google results as normal, and you can swipe through them and tap to get other options. So now view website. This is that's the only option for this. Tap that, and it will actually start to load the website. Now viewing websites on Google Glass is not really the idea. Um, one, they take a while to download, and then two, they're very hard to navigate. Um, you have to kind of use your head up and down, and then if you tap with two fingers, you can zoom in and out and let go to select links, which sounds very cumbersome because it is. Um, so that's not really the point here, but you get the gist. So I'm not even gonna wait for that to load. Swipe down to dismiss, swipe down to get back out, and now we're back to our main timeline. And then we can go back in, and I'll show you another one. Uh, let's do that one. So here, you can again, you can tap it or I can, from this screen, say, okay, Glass, take a picture. Then those words appear on the screen again for a split second, and then they disappear. Um, if you catch it fast enough, you can say those words again, and then say send to, or something like that, and eventually send them to whoever you might want. Um, but we'll tap this to get back in, and then you'll also notice if I swipe, you'll see that that picture is now added to my timeline, to the right of my home screen. Um, then we can tap in here again, and the next one is record a video. It works the same way, uh, just records 10 seconds. Um, and then if you tap the camera button, which is up here on the top, uh, it'll let you record longer until you tap and stop it. Get directions, um, message, you can message someone, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, And then those are the actions. So now those are the ones that come with the device. Whenever you install glassware, however, um, you'll actually see that this list will add to it. So 
Um, whenever you install a new app that has its own action, for example, the Spellista game, which is the only game right now, has the action, play a game. Um, this can be accessed via this menu like I'm doing now, or also using voice commands. Um, then I also installed the compass, so now show compass is an action. And again, can be done from here or with voice commands. So I'll show you that if I swipe out. Okay, glass. You'll see it's listed here now at the bottom. Show a compass. And now it shows a compass. And there's a lot of interference. Great. Um, but that's the gist of all of the actions. And that's kind of how all the apps work. So whenever you have a new app that you download or a new glassware, it adds a new action. Um, and then you can use that to call open the app and have it do whatever it is planning to do. And there you go. That's kind of the gist of the operating system. I mean, it's pretty simple as you can tell. Um, but that's partly why it's so cool. What's really gonna change it is the apps. When people start developing new glassware, uh, seeing what actions they put in there, what they can do, um, and, and that's really where the coolness lies, and then also that it's so simple to use. Um, and it may seem a little cumbersome, uh, but you do get used to it really quickly, and doing these things and talking to it becomes uh, pretty second nature, which is great. The only thing is I wish they could just build it into a pair of real glasses. Um, and then not have this giant thing on my face. Um, it's pretty noticeable and pretty nerdy. Uh, but again, if it was in a regular pair of glasses that I could just put on and no one else could tell that it was there, that'd be pretty freaking cool. <laughs>